Thank you for checking out my video. This is my last drone video before my filters come. So I said, let me take it out to the park this morning. I just left the gym playing basketball. And it's a little cloudy day, as you can tell. It's not rainy. It was very foggy this morning. I actually turned on the fog lights on my car. I don't know why. Just see if it made a difference. And by the time I got down the road, the fog disappeared. So there were some people fishing or attempting to catch fish or gators or something. And uh, I decided I was going to take it up high so it didn't distract them. LOL. Wait, you're not supposed to say that. Anyways, the first video I did, I thought I was going this direction. And I was actually going the other direction. So I said, I really want to go this direction. And boom, there goes a bird. And there goes more birds. I couldn't believe how close that one bird was. So I'm just like watching it on the screen. So I have the control in my hand. This is my DJI Mavic Air. It was so cool looking down at the water and seeing the birds in the sky reflection come off the water. So I know there's like a small little waterfall underneath that bridge over there. So I wanted to go that way. Wasn't going to go underneath the bridge, but I, was, I'm, I'm, I might turn off the uh, sensors next time. <laughs> Maybe try to do that. But I have all the sensors on, so my drone you know on the sides on the up down all going backwards it's going to avoid any obstacles so i know i've seen gators in this water little gators i was just like you know why can't i see them with this and that's when i was thinking while i was at the gym i was like you know what when i was a kid my dad would give me polarized sunglasses and then I could see the fish in the water. I was like, well, why don't I get some polarized lenses so I can use them on my drone and see in the water. So we'll see how that works. But from the different videos and stuff that I saw online, it looks like the polarized lenses should give you a better image uh, of the colors right now the colors look very vibrant so the water looks really cool it's glassy so i never actually been back that direction okay over to the right that's it that's it okay over to the right and i didn't realize how much water was back there i knew the area was low so this is back in Blanchard Park in between the YMCA and Rouse Road. And still looking for gators. I don't know that we'll see any gators. But today the weather is 76 degrees at the time I was shooting this video. And this is December 29th, a couple of days before New Year's. I know you guys are loving this up in uh, New York and Canada. <laughs> yeah, I, I was outside in shorts. Oh, I, I, you get to see that in a little bit. So I set my limit on my drone so it doesn't go past 5,000 feet um, because I realized that where I'm at in the park, I don't want it to get stuck and then can't turn it around and it has to come back on its own. Or I have to start walking towards it. Uh, but I was getting close to, I was a little over 3,000 feet away, not high. I was, the height of this video, the max was like 180 feet high. So relatively low, but above all the trees. And I got to, it was about, 3,000 feet, and it said it was having a hard time, weak signal. It also told me that there was aircraft interference, which I know there's a small uh, airport about 15, 10, 15 miles away. So I just wanted to, to try it out, see what's over here. So now I'm obviously bringing it back. 
and I wanted to get, in case you didn't notice, I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with seeing how close I can get it to the water. So bring it over here. Look how small the people look on the bridge. And look at all the little suds. All that's coming from just the water coming over that little bitty dam, if you want to call it that. So obviously you can't see into the water, but it looks really cool. So I took it down, all the way down, and down a bit further. And I took it to a point where it actually said I was at zero feet. Now, when you look down, you could see I still had probably five to 10 feet before hitting the water. It was actually much higher than that. You'll see later when I take it down again. But this said zero feet. And I actually had an issue with a connection. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I don't need to take it that low there. So I bring it back up and I bring it back over. Now, across this bridge, I'm just wondering, where does it go? Because I don't think I've ridden my bike over there. I like riding my bike in this park. It's a fun place to go. So let's go back and see where it goes. Apparently, he just came from that direction. And it doesn't go back that far. And it looks like it dead ends at these people. Very nice looking house. So I was like, I don't want to be in anybody's house. Get shot down. <laughs> so I brought it back. And coming back. And there's a lot of nothingness in that forest, a little trail right there. I wonder if they dug that out right there where that water is reaching to the back of that house. So I'm bringing it back, bringing it back and here I go back down towards the water. Back down towards the water. As you can see, I'm getting closer to the water. Closer to the water. Closer, closer. Okay, let's look down now. I don't want to end up in the water. Okay, so right about here, it also said I was about zero feet. Now you can tell by the reflection in the water of my drone that I was way closer than where it said I was zero feet on the other side of that bridge. So I thought that was interesting. I did lose connection because I wasn't that far away. I was probably about 200 yards away. There's right over there where you see that blue um, roof. That was where I was sitting all right so i'm bringing it back i'm down to about 30 percent battery and it's telling me right about here it says you have low battery and right there's my car the red one and i was like oh let's see if we get people playing soccer golly that's a little goal i didn't realize that when i was flying all right so i'm bringing it down and right about here it's like you've reached the critical battery percentage said so bring back to home I was like no because it's like right there so this is like one of the first time that I've brought it back on my own without hitting return to home there I am sitting down looking like I'm taking a dump <laughs> okay so I look up right here and then I'm trying to fly it back to me looking up that didn't work out too well it, it works better looking at your your phone so you can see the display. 
So I bring it down. What's interesting is I did this whole video in sport mode. So I don't know how much that it actually uses the, uh, the sensing to avoid objects. Okay, so at this point, I thought I hit stop. And then I'm taking my, my phone out the, the uh, remote and I'm take, putting the joystick controllers back in the remote and folding the remote up. And I thought I already hit stop on the recording. So I'm just, I thought I could, I thought I should delete this out. Then I was like, you know what, this is pretty cool because it's still recording. And I'm about to walk over and pick it up. I had no idea that it was still recording. Any minute now. Uh, one more shit. Oh, oops, I said. Oh, well. All right. Come over, pick it. Hey, dummy, pick up your drone. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'll pick up the drone. And up we go. And I'm about to turn it off. Thanks for watching.